thank you very much to be here. I really enjoy your presentation. Uh, it's amazing to the way you bring transplantation into a field, a totally new field. And I guess for someone like me or for any others, it's really inspiring that it took 15 years of your life to build this success story. And I just wanted to know whether you could take us maybe back to a time where it was difficult, to a time when you thought that maybe you would not succeed. Yeah, Can you recall one of these times? Yeah, there have been sev several times like that. And of course, I've had uh, very much resistance also. A lot of people have said this is not going to work and, and so on. But um, I think when I started the project, I was probably a little naive. I thought it would take about five years to get this into a clinical trial. And now it took 15 years. Uh, I think that is very good because we have actually learned a lot during the process and we have actually optimized the procedure. And I think that is the key to our success. But of course we have had uh, very big difficulties, uh, very expensive uh, trials on the primates, which we had to conduct in Africa because we didn't have a primate center in Sweden. Sometimes we found out the animal caretaker has stopped giving the drugs and so on, and uh, so we had to go back and redo a lot of things. So that has been, but we have, those uh, actually drawbacks have been very good for the team building also. So even bad things could be good. Yeah, I mean that's m that's my my things. I said we, we should uh, we should also always look if something bad happens we sh we should turn it to a good thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And at the stage where you f you are now, where do you want to bring this uh, forward? I mean, do you 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 just show us that uh, you were thinking that this might apply to up to two uh, of two thousand two hundred thousand women in, in the EU? Do you really think that uh, this uh, could be so big? Or? No, of course. I mean, uh, those are the potential uh, patients, but a lot of will accept their infertility. Some will go for adoption, some will ga go for gestation surrogates. But it's if this work is definitely going to be a very big transplantation group, uh, a, a new kind of transplantation group. And um, I think what we have to do is, of course, we have to uh, optimize the surgery even more. So that's why we're trying this ro robotically assisted laparoscopic surgery and so on. And we have to do more studies. But I think in five years, you're going to see this in several centers uh, around yeah. the world. So that was my next question. At this stage, do you think you need to increase the number of centers or stay the activity quite focused in one single center that would be leading maybe several centers? in different countries yeah. or? No, I, thi I think they can start other activities, but they should do it in the same research-minded way as we have done. And we should, of course, form an international registry. So we do that from the beginning as, as for hand and face transplantation. So we actually follow what happens to all our patients. Uh, all right. Okay, and I have a last question for you. Yeah. Uh, we heard a lot in this co in this congress about uh, regenerative medicine and these new techniques. So do you think this will uh, maybe change the way we can apply your technique. Do you think, for example, we can grow a new or? Yeah. Actually, we have already started that, uh, those experiments. So we are doing experiments on the bioengineered uh, uterus in the rat and the sheep. And uh, I think that's going to work in the future, but it's going to be at least 10 years until we see this in the clinic. And, uh, but I, I think that's going to be the, be the Thank future. Thank you very much.